So I wanted to talk to you about a half swing and there's a lot of confusion about a half swing and what is a half swing, what do you need it for. Um, the, the average golfer really only needs a half swing or less than a full swing on their wedges. Sometimes the better players and the pros will use a shorter swing on a, an 8 iron or a 9 iron if they're hitting it into the wind. But other than that, generally speaking, you'll only use a half swing or a three quarter swing on your wedges. And the reason for that is because as you're coming in closer to the green, if you're using a full swing, it's going to go over the back of the green at some point. So what is a half swing? Now my way of thinking is that your left arm will be about parallel to the ground. So you can have a bit of an experiment with that and, and see what that feels like. Obviously you can't stop and look when you're swinging, but left arm about parallel to the ground with your wedge is about a half swing. And then what you'll do is you'll go to the range, use some half swings and just see how far that goes. And then you'll know, so for your pitching wedge, a half swing, what distance that will go. And for your sand wedge on a half swing, what distance that will go. And if, if you've got other wedges, like a gap wedge or a lob wedge, you can test out those as well. And then next time you're at that distance out on the course, say you're 50 or 60 or 70 out from the green, then you'll know that a half swing on that particular club will take you that distance. Now the key with using a half swing is to not just stop moving and pick up your arms and this is what a lot of people do and that's why people struggle with a half swing. A lot of people say to me, oh when I try and shorten my swing down it just doesn't work. And what I've seen is the reason for that is people just start picking up their arms because they think, oh it's only short, I don't need to do much. But that is the real key. Make sure you're still turning your body. So you can see here that I've only gone halfway back, but my left shoulder is right under my chin and I've twisted my body. So even though it's a short swing, still use a lot of body. All right, so go to the range, test it out, halfway back, halfway through, use your body, get the body working, get the body involved. And with a bit of practice before, you'll get more confident with those half swings and you'll really find that your scoring in those shorter distances will really improve.